Thank you for calling Masterpiece Roofing. This is Rhonda. May I help you? I'm Rex the Roofer. I'm here with my office manager, Rhonda Wathier. And we just want to briefly go through uh, what happens in the office once we've actually uh, signed a contract with you all and what takes place basically in the office behind the scenes because these are the, all the things that you don't really realize uh, that takes place. And this is the most important part. Aside from being able to get your roof approved from the insurance adjuster in the company themselves, it's also real important to see what happens behind the scenes. So Ron and I are basically gonna bring you up to speed on that process. And the first thing that we wanna talk about is is once you've contracted with us, one of the things that Rhonda and I do is, is we determine whether or not that that roof needs a satellite image taken of it. And that's actually called a geoestimator report. Rhonda's got one right here. And what this does is, is from the satellite, they shoot an image of the house which measures the roof and gives you all the dimensions that you need. Once you have got the uh, adjuster summary, which is the, the outline of all the things covered by the insurance company. What happens once you get that? Once I get that, I go through it line by line and compare it to the measurements that the guys have taken on the roof and make sure, just totally ensure that um, everything that needs to be done on that roof is going to be done and paid for by the insurance company. Then I put together a supplement invoice which lists everything that they said that they're going to pay for and everything that we say they need to pay for. And I send that in to the adjuster. Once we've got the, uh, the roof approved, what's the process after that? Once you've negotiated everything, make sure that we have got a settlement amount, what takes place after that? Then I put together the roof order and fax that to the materials people so that they can schedule the materials to be loaded on the roof. Right, to our suppliers. Mm -hmm. You pull a permit and that permit also goes to the supplier and then it also goes to the um, person in charge of the crews that actually put the roofs on. So I send him the um, roof order, a copy of the contract and the permit and let him know when the materials will be delivered and then he lets me know when that'll be put on. So then I think you contact your customer. That's right, that's my job. After everything has been approved, Rhonda's got the roof order put together and we know when the material is gonna be delivered, then I'll contact you and let you know that, hey, it's gonna be delivered on such and such a date and we're gonna start on such and such a date so that you guys will know that if you have cars, for example, that are in your garage, you know, because we have to pull a dumpster into your driveway right there. We have a trailer where we offload the old shingles and you're not going to be able to get in and out of the garage that day. So we have you usually park your car on the curb outside for that particular purpose. So now once we've got all the roof and everything installed for you, then at that point, then it's my job to make sure that I have the city come out to do the final inspection for you. And uh, once they do, then you're all good to go at that point. But Typically, there's a supervisor on site whenever the job is being done, uh, and we just make sure that you're well taken care of. You couldn't be dealing with a better company. Everything's super organized here. But I have to say, without a doubt, that one of the strengths of our company is that we have Rhonda here. She's on your file constantly working that to make sure that, that the insurance company is paying for everything. And that's a fight sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> it sometimes is, yes. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I've come in here and watched Rhonda just literally, you know, beating up these adjusters on the phone trying to get them to do their job. And that's it's sad because a lot of them really don't have any idea, you know, what drip edge is or what shingles required. They don't know what the codes are. And it's our job, it's Rhonda's job, really, to educate them as far as what they're supposed to do a lot of times. So, you know, that's, these are the things that happen behind the scenes. A lot of people really don't appreciate because they never see what goes on. All they see is their pretty roof once everything is all finished. <laughs> but the main thing we want you all to understand is, is what happens behind the scenes because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't appreciate what all that we do or they just don't know what all is, is uh, required in order to get a claim taken care of in the office, out in the field, and then afterwards. And this is all the reason why you need to choose us to handle your roofing project because we will turn your roof into a masterpiece.